Red garnets are a great crystal for everyone to have in their collection, but if you're serious about working with crystals and your spiritual development, it's time for you to up level. And today we're gonna to talk about a crystal exactly that will help you to do that. Welcome to this Crystal Connections video. I'm Adam Barrowley and we're gonna explore star garnets. So star garnets are a small section of the garnet community that has these beautiful inclusions of rutile in them. Now what happens when you polish the stone, it'll actually, when you run a light across the surface, you'll see a star glide across it. It's really quite magical. Now when you see these different stars, it can sometimes get confusing because we've got rubies that are quite fiery and red and garnets as well. But there's a really easy way to tell the difference. Because garnets grow on a molecular level in a square shape, their stars will be a cross that glides across it. Whereas a ruby that grows in a hexagonal shape will actually have a six pointed star. So if you're trying to work out whether a bright red stone with a little star on it is a ruby or a garnet, four for garnet and six for ruby. Now, when we think about this as well, what causes that star is actually rutile. Rutile, of course, known as angel's hair or Freya's hair, is a really kind of uplifting and expansive crystal in itself. So combining that with the garnet is going to give this real magical power. The other great thing about it is we already know that rubies and garnets have this real fiery energy. By bringing this what's called asterism to it, that's going to up-level it as well. And in this video, we're going to explore exactly how garnets are great, but star garnets, star garnets are absolutely spectacular and why you want to have one in your collection. A typical red garnet is really good at helping us to ground ourselves and focus on our own needs. When we start working with star garnet, it allows us to shift our focus from just getting through every day and focusing on what we need into focusing on our greater purpose, our spiritual purpose, why we are actually here in this incarnation, what the spiritual quest is. So if you feel that you're not quite doing what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime, you need to start working with a star garnet. It's so interesting how there are so many people that are trying to distract us with their own agendas. And we can get to the end of the day, the end of the week, end of, you know, maybe our lifetime where we're kind of thinking, hold on, but I really want us to do something. I really want to do something. Now, as we kind of try and keep everyone else happy, we can actually lose track of what we actually want in life, what it lights us up, what our passion is, and what we're actually meant to be doing. This is where star garnets are absolutely great. They really help to kind of fire that inner flame within you again and help to ignite that passion to remind you what you want to do. It allows you to start taking control back of your time, your energy and how you spend each day rather than other people filling it with their demands on you as well. As you start to do that, it allows you to start living a life that you love more, that you enjoy more, and that you actually feel like you're contributing what you're meant to be contributing as well. So if you're kind of feeling that you're a little bit stuck and not doing what you want to be doing, then this is gonna be a great crystal for you. Now, something that lots of people that I help with in my holistic health business are constantly talk to me about is either something like exhaustion, chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue, all those different things. Now, these are obviously associated with the adrenals, which are the glands that are associated with the base chakra. Remember, our red crystals work with our base chakra. And often this is a problem because we're trying to be everything to everyone. So when you work with a star garnet, this is a great crystal to not just wear or carry on your person, but even meditate over the adrenals or down near the base chakra, popping it between your legs as you rest to help fire up the energy, but not like you're kind of having a caffeinated or an energy drink and you're just kind of going beyond and exhausting yourself more. It's more to fire up and do what you want to do that you love. We've all had those days where we get to submerge ourselves in something that we're passionate about. We don't run out of energy. Time flies by, all those types of things. Imagine if your life was like that. Well, that's exactly what Star Garnet starts to push us towards and can be really powerful in that way. Not only can Star Garnet help us live a life we love, but it can also help us with the love of our life. That's a tongue twister for you. I nailed it. <laughs> anyway, this is a really great one where we're not focusing on being the best partner we can be and also bringing out the best in our partner at the time. We tend to get wandering eyes. We can wonder, well, maybe there's someone else. Maybe I'd be happier with someone else or maybe someone else is better for me. Star Garnet really helps you to commit to a relationship and focus on not just what you expect from them, but also what you expect on your, in yourself. 
when you start living your own passion and being authentically yourself and living your own life, you're going to be happier and you're going to be able to give more to your partner as well. So if you're worrying that your relationship is kind of fading out, the spark is going and that type of thing, and you maybe start wondering and looking around, or you're worried that your partner might be doing the same, then why not work with Star Garnet, bring that fire back for who you are, and then decide to be a fired up, passionate individual who is with another fired up, passionate person as well. It's really great for helping us focus on what's important to us, whether that be our life, as I spoke about before, or it be our lover as well. So if you're feeling that you're not quite giving it all to your relationship, Star Garnet is going to help you and your partner come together give 100% each and the relationship will flare up. There'll be sparks, there'll be passion, there'll be fire, all in a good way, of course. It'll really help to reignite passion that may have lulled over time because if we're not focusing purely on something, then we dissipate that energy and it can cause problems, infidelity, dishonesty, the whole kit and caboodle. So grab your star gun up, keep it in the bedroom, think about how you can be the best partner and bring the best out of your partner as you both live the lives you're here to live, passionately, fully embraced and loved. There's a really beautiful time to work with star garnets as well as star rubies, and that is a blood moon. Now, a blood moon is actually when the moon turns red and it's due to a bit of an eclipse situation. It can happen at different times and years and we don't get one every year, sometimes we get two. Now, in the past, there were lots of things that were associated with it being bad luck. The king would come off his throne and someone else would sit on the throne during the blood moon because they thought that the king would be killed, that evil demons or dragons or monsters would come. Others have put it with other bad superstitions as well. But remember that they didn't realize what was happening with astronomy at the time. And there are other cultures and things have actually evolved over time that we realize this is an auspicious time and to take advantage of it. Now, throughout the year, we have the full moon in the different zodiac signs, allowing us to work our magic and manifest our different desires in the different areas of life. When we have a blood moon, this is a time to get really down to what courses through our veins, what, you know, what really serves us and ignites us and fires us up, and to really kind of generate some energy behind that and get back to what is our soul mission. So when we have a uh, blood moon, whatever sign it may be in, that's when you want to grab your star garnets, your star rubies, and work with these crystals to really get back to what kind of keeps me going. What is that fire that ignites me in that way? So it's great to align with the energy. I'll wear my star garnet or my star, I will normally wear my star garnet pendant, my star ruby ring around a blood moon to really come back to what am I here to do and how do I focus magic on that? A lot of the time we can just on a regular full moon focus on, oh, I need some more money. Oh, I need to improve a relationship. Oh, I need to, you know, help with, um, you know, expanding my network. When we're working with a blood moon, it's what really, it's that animalistic drive, that spiritual drive that's going through you and coursing through your veins. It's tapping into that and creating magic around that. And because of the high vibration of star rubies and our star garnets, it really allows you to fire in, lock into that and focus on that so that you're starting to create some magic around the life you're truly here to live and the one you want to love. Got a pop quiz for you. Which animal on this planet do you think has helped humankind to evolve to where we are today the most? Some might say, oh, well, maybe dogs, they're man's best friend, or maybe cats, because they've played a pretty important role, especially spiritually. But I'm gonna argue that it was horses. Think that horses have helped in travel, in agriculture, even in warfare, in a whole range of different things. Now, we've all had different experiences with horses, but I'm sure you've noticed that with some horses, they just kind of seem like animals, but others have a twinkle in their eyes. It's as though they've been here before and they actually know different things. There is a theory that horses, like humans, will go through many lifetimes, evolving each time. When a horse becomes fully evolved, they either become a unicorn with the pillar of light coming out of their third eye or a pegasus with the wings coming from their chest as though they have learned unconditional love. This is where star garnets can really connect us with that energy of the pegasus, of allowing us to teach the less or to learn and understand what true unconditional love is. 
loving without expectation, loving someone for who they are rather than who we want them to be, loving life for what it is and seeing the divine perfection in life. Star Garnet and meditating with Pegasus and inviting Pegasus into your life can help you to see the beauty that's all around us, even in the ugly. To see the perfection in the ebb and the flow and the yin and the yang and the light and the dark and so on. So if you feel that there's a lack of love for how life is and a lack of gratitude, then work with Star Garnet. Call in Pegasus and the wisdom that this horse has learnt throughout the many lifetimes and what it means to truly love. Not just that kind of old romantic kind of love, but that true accepting love, like we have the love of the Creator. So, if you want to connect with Pegasus and unconditional love, Star Garnet can act as a perfect gateway. Now, talking about gateways, there is a bit of a Native American belief I've read that um, the best times to work with Garnets are in the twilight times. So this is just before the sun rises in the morning and just before the sun set, or just after the sun sets in the evening. These are kind of magical times when the realms between or the veil between our realm and the other realms is at its thinnest. And there are other times of the year, like the equinoxes and Samhain is a really great time, but each on a daily basis, this is a great time to work with uh, your star garnet now. If you're wanting to bring in that Pegasus energy, Pegasus really resonates beautifully with roses, especially red and pink roses. So being near roses or scattering some petals around you can be really great as well. Hold your crystal in your receptive hand, the hand you don't write with, for most of us that will be our left, Close your eyes as you sit out in that twilight time and invite Pegasus to come in. Now, you may feel, you may sense, you may even see in your mind's eye Pegasus and you can ask Pegasus, if you could tell me one thing right now, what would it be? Or you may have a particular question, but allow Pegasus to guide you in how to live a life full of love with a full heart and a belly full of fire. Pegasus can teach you and your star garnet is that gateway. I've just noticed as I've finished doing this video how quickly I've been talking and how fired up I get. And it's quite interesting. I don't know if you watch my different videos, the crystal that I'm holding will tend to have an influence on me. So if I'm talking about something a bit more flowy like Larimer, I'll slow down, but you may have noticed that I'm talked really quickly. So my big apologies because I do have that Australian accent and I'm a Gemini fast talker as well. So hopefully you're able to keep up with me or who knows what the YouTube generated captions we're doing. But let's talk about working with this crystal and what we can bring in as well. Now, of course, like any other crystal or like most crystals, we want to cleanse it. The best time to cleanse this crystal, when do you reckon that one would be? On a blood moon. If you've got a blood moon, get your star rubies, get your star garnets out there. Do your workings with them, but also allow them to have a bit of a cleanse as well. Now, if you're waiting for a blood moon and you need to cleanse it straight away, either using the element of fire, placing it near a natural form of fire, or passing it through a candle, or even the full moon would suffice as well. Use the fire for that more passionate side, use the moon for that more magical side. Now, when it comes to working with different essential oils, you know I love working with my oils as well. Rose is the, sto uh, is the oil of unconditional love, so it works really beautifully when you are working with that heart-centered kind of energy. You may also want to work with pomegranate. Now, pomegranate is sacred to uh, Persephone and has a bit of a... Um, a bit of an energy around being okay with birth, death, and rebirth, and creation. And star garnets are really good for actually allowing you to not kind of attach to something and be know what you need to do to succeed, to go to that next level, to live your life, the life you're meant to be living, and for feeling confident in that. And pomegranate seed, and you can get pomegranate seed carrier oil, can be really great to work with in this context if you're using it as an anointing oil, to really help you to be okay with the death of one thing so that a new thing can be created as well. Now, around the blood moon, we sometimes work with pomegranate juice or we work with red wine. Why? Well, we don't want to be drinking blood. That can sometimes, you know, well, we're not even going to get into why you don't need to drink blood. But we use pomegranate juice or we use red wine as that substitute for connecting to the blood. That is the blood of Mother Earth. And so we can bring those energies in when we're working around that blood moon energy. Astrologically, you can tell by the way I'm fired up, this is definitely a Mars crystal. So Mars rules Tuesday. This is the best time to be working with your star garnets. So, what do you reckon? Are you up for working with Star Gunnet? Now, you can find little tumbled stones like this around, or you can get beautiful jewellery that will have that really obvious star in it. Whichever way, 
they're both really fiery and you'll probably be as fired up as I've been in this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.